It was a cold, rainy October morning, and we were really lost downtown Raleigh. My son and I were trying to collect ourselves and figure out where we were and where we needed to go next when we noticed a lady sitting over to the side of the road, and she was in a wheelchair, and she was barefoot, and it broke my heart because it was so cold that day. She was holding the rim of her wheelchair in her hands, and we could see that she was crying. And I said to Kyle, we have to stop, we have to help her. So we parked the car, walked across the street, and I leaned in and said, honey, what is your name? And she said, my name is Betsy. And I said, Betsy, what can we do to help you? And she said, I need a roll of tape. If you could just find me a roll of tape, then I could tape this wheel back together and I could get to the bus stop. I need to get to the bus stop because I need to go to the medical supply store to get a new wheel for this chair. About that time, a utility truck drove by and we thought surely they would have a roll of tape. So we began to wave our arms and they wouldn't stop. And then a car pulled in. It was an elderly couple and they were at the red light giving me enough time to walk across to their car. And I n tapped on the gentleman's window and he rolled the window up in fear. And I pointed over to Betsy and said, sir, could you please help us? We need some tape. We need some tape. He lowered the window just a few inches. And I said, sir, do you have a roll of tape by any chance in your car? And his wife leaned over to the glove compartment and she pulled out a roll of tape, but it was a roll of scotch tape. Scotch tape. I turned back to Kyle and said, Scotch tape. And he's shaking his head, no, Mom, that's never going to work. And I said, well, we have to pray and ask God to help us. We walked over to Betsy and I said, Kyle, hold the wheel of this wheelchair together as tight as you can and I'm going to roll off every ounce of this tape until it's all used up. And we're going to pray and ask God to help us and to work a miracle for Betsy because we need one. That's exactly what we did. And I cannot express to you the joy in both of our hearts. When Betsy pushed the control panel on the arm of her wheelchair and we watched her as she traveled down to the bus stop, we knew that God had worked a miracle that day, that without the help of the Lord, that would never have happened. How in the world could a roll of scotch tape mend a wheelchair wheel back together? Sometimes we feel what we have to give to God is not enough. Many times we withhold from God the very thing that if we would give it all to Him, He would take it and make it something much greater and much more purposeful. If we would just have a willing heart to come to Him and say, Lord, here I am, everything that I am, everything you've created me to be, do something amazing with my life. Help me, Lord. He tells us in Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and marvelous things. And today I challenge you to do just that because God loves you so much. He created you in His image and He wants you to allow Him to use everything He created you to be. Do you have a willing heart? That's all it takes is a willing heart.